Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pile Pirate here, and today we have another tutorial video. And this tutorial video is going to be how to export and import saves from one world to another world on Minecraft. So, right off the bat, we're going to go into Load World, and we're going to go into our Buildcraft world. And once we're loaded in, we're just basically going to use our left click, as usual, if you've ever used uh, MC Edit. If you haven't, then I have a tutorial video on how to use that, and that's under my tutorials playlist so if you want to just go check that out and then come back to this video and it'll probably make a lot more sense if you don't know what's going on right now anyway so basically you highlight what you want to what you want to um export into another world and then all you have to do is come to this little side panel here and go to export and then you have a whole you're gonna have a whole list of um saves that you've already exported or uh, presets that you've can export into other worlds so Right off the bat, I already have a one that I've done, but basically you would type in what you want here. So I, if I just wanted to call it, blah, 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 I would call it that, but I'm going to call it build schematic hut because I've already done this. So I would go save and go yes, just because it, it already exists. And then I would hit control and I would load the world, not load the, yeah, load the world that I want to put it into. So I'd go to post because that's the world that I'm going to load it into. Once I'm in, am in post, I would go to this little key here. And go to import, and notice that it's on the it's on the um, bottom bar because I don't have any anything selected yet. So then I would select this. I would just double click or hit open, and now I have my building in this world. So once you place it down, just left click once. If you double left click, then it, you can drag it around. If you once, and then if you want to make fine tune, you just hit your nudge, hold left click down on the nudge button, and then just nudge around with W A S D, Q and Z or Z whatever nationality you are and basically that's how you move around in fine detail if I wanted to move it way over into these trees then I would just left click again and it would be in the trees so yeah and that's basically it one thing that you guys should definitely know though if you have say a torch and it's placed on this front panel right here and I flip the building twice that torch would be going backwards into that so imagine if there was a block right in front of that connected to this right here whoops whoops I double clicked um, imagine if there was a block right in front of it, it would basically look like that. Like, it would be backwards, is what I'm trying to get at. And if you placed it once, it would be sideways, and normal would just be connected to the wall. So basically, if you hit rotate, now any torches that I have in that building are going to be flipped to the side. If I hit it again, any t torches I have in there are flipped backwards, and then side other way, and then normal. So if you want to fix that, all you're going to have to do is go back into Minecraft, and just manually place all your torches again. And I know it's really annoying, but it has to be done, unfortunately. Well, it doesn't have to be done. It's just better done. It's better done. So, I think that's everything that you guys need to know in the importing and exporting. So, we just hit import, and there's our building. So, if you guys have any questions about how to import and or export from save world to from world to world, just leave it in the comments and hopefully I can get back to you if I actually see the comment because lots of times it just happens that I don't see it which kind of sucks and I know but I have a lot of videos to put out and I can't monetize every single one so yeah I'll try to keep an eye on the comment section and if you guys have any questions just put a comment and I think that's about everything I need to cover I'm just gonna hit save because it seems like fraps never wants to close out after if I don't hit save so yeah I hope this video helped you guys out, and I shall talk to you all in the next video that I put out.